Nathan, no balls, the curse, excuses, the umpires. What's going on? There's an old saying around Mayo that you can never beat the Rossies by enough. <laughs> you can never beat them by enough. God, I hope that they go and beat Galway at the weekend and get themselves back in a Connacht final again, where we'll hear the Ross Common fans have their usual old excuses about why it didn't happen for them on Connacht final day. It was a bit too cold down by the graveyard end for them. Dear God. I think Mayo fans have given Dublin plenty of respect uh, down through the years. I would acknowledge they're the greatest team we have ever seen. And if that's Frankie's experience, that's Frankie's experience. Uh, maybe he should have given his ticket on All-Ireland Final Day to a Mayo supporter. Oh, no, sure. He couldn't. <laughs> he, he wouldn't miss Mayo getting beaten. What are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I don't know if James Horn is a pin it up in the dressing room kind of guy, but uh, maybe he should be sending that podcast around. Uh, like we've taken uh, Owen's Yerraism to a whole new level to distract from what's going on and carry in the greatness of David Clifford. No, no, uh, no. The, no one we, way, we... the one way path to an All Ireland final and uh, beating, finally dethroning this great Dublin side. He's trying to stir something up in the West to. Uh, to rattle mail, he, well, it won't work, Sheehan. He came to me with the the offer, and I just could not turn it down. And I was like, "Yes, Frankie, we will, we will, we will uh, go forth with this uh, narrative." It's it's something that, that like, I mean, I, I think I got I said on the show before as well, and there was a natural blowback, and Frankie's getting a bit of blowback from it, uh, calling it disrespectful, and all that. The the Mayo fans don't like to be criticised, Nathan. Take criticism any day of the week, as long as it's valid criticism. This seems pretty valid, though, no. What's what's valid about it? They just show up expecting you're going to win all Ireland's. Well, what you want us to roll over like most other teams do when they get to all Ireland final day? No, <laughs> turn up with a bit of confidence. <laughs> Expect to win. Go toe to toe with the greatest team of all time. Phil, you know, two you... own goals in an all Ireland final, Jer. Where yeah. has this ever happened before? <laughs> Come on, Phil. You're an honest broker in all this. I think uh, uh, you're married to a male woman. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, it's become a, a customary part of all Ireland final day where after the game if I'm, I'm working at the game I you know, pack up my my equipment and I go and I meet my wife and her friends after the game and I console them and I say it wasn't to be this year but I tell you something he gave me a, a bit of a scare this year <laughs> you know for a second I thought this one could be going to a replay and and did, did they generally blame the umpire at that point to be honest usually when I walk in they just look and go oh look here he is look at him Gloating. Here, I don't know. Listen, don't I'm gloat. not taking atin from Sheehan. Forty years on, Kerry, you're still shiting on about Seamus Darby's goal. <laughs> Give us a break. Listen, uh, Mayo people will apologise to no one for going up, for playing in All Ireland final after All Ireland final, for enjoying it, for uh, enjoying the day, for pushing teams to the pin of their collar, and Losing. if it doesn't happen, respecting the winning team as oh, they yeah. have done consistently okay. with Dublin and acknowledged that this Dublin team are a great team. Because that's, is, is, does that respect come from a lack of balls that Frankie was saying? What? I mean, does that, like, I mean, is it, so should, this, should he be a little no, bit more no, disrespectful? No, no, no. Should he no, be a bit more disrespectful? Pa 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 Paddy and Andy are probably recording later. Why don't you go on to the podcast and tell Andy Moore he doesn't have balls? <laughs> They've already recorded. <laughs> They've already recorded. Paddy. All right, well, next week, let's uh, get you on, on. And you tell these Mayo players that Andy has I'm talking about, I'm, we're just talking about the fans here. We're talking about the fans here, Nathan. There's only to defend your team, and we're just talking about you. Do you see, do you see Nathan, a, a kindred spirit between yourselves and England and the English fans? I, in what way, Jer? Well, I mean, very similar narrative. Ian Ladyman used the phrase, the curse has been lifted. And I immediately thought of like, well, geez, the Mayo fans are going to be seeing this as a, a bit of a, a, a harbinger of glory this summer. If England, the, you know, winning in black and white, Mayo winning in black and white, I'm sure everything else is a harbinger of Mayo. Yeah, well, the last two European championships, uh, Mayo did get to the All-Ireland final that year. So listen, the omens are there. I suppose it's the, the arrogance without the achievement to back it up was what the point I was getting at. Well, you can take that from Dublin supporters. Maybe you can even take it from Kerry supporters. I don't think you can take it from Roscommon supporters. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? Listen, I have no problem with any Dublin fan uh, having a pop at Mayo supporters. Even Kerry would let them away with it because of all the success they've had through the years sometimes. But a Roscommon fan, uh, listen, uh, we know how All-Ireland final days happen. We're not there going when Roscommon are in the final, taking their tickets. Nathan, good stuff. You've been a relatively good sport. <laughs> relatively. <laughs> Phil, thank you very much as well. Uh, yes, that's uh, <laughs> Phil and Nathan giving us some thoughts on the football and uh, the, the brewing controversy of Frankie Dolan's comments, which have been aflame on the Mayo GA message board.